Okay, this is a video I'm making in order to help parents know how to score for uh, CYO Volleyball. It's uh, rec league scoring. So it's pretty easy to do. Uh, we see the home team has a list of players. Uh, this will be the position 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And there are substitutions here. Number 17 is allowed to sub for 41 and 24 for 14. And that's all they're allowed to sub for because that's the way they're listed here. And likewise, we have first, second, all the way out through sixth player here. And 41 is going to sub for 26 and 17 for 12. Okay, and uh, we see that first serve is given to the away team. So when they line up on the court, uh, they will indeed be lined up 26, 31, 12, 19, 16, 30. But this team here does not have the first serve. 30 is intended to be their first server. So they will have to rotate one backwards so that when they rotate after the serve is done on this side, uh, 30 will be in position one. So they will be one backwards. Number 12 will actually be at position one at that time. Okay, so let's get started. So let's say the game starts. Uh, 26 is now uh, serving the ball. And let's say she wins the first point. So then we're just going to write uh, number one right there. Okay, now let's say she wins the second point. Then we're just going to put a number two here. So we're going to keep what's called a running score as we go through here. Now let's say she does not win the next point. Well, then we're going to award the point to the person who's about to serve on this side. In this case, number 30. So then we'll give them their first point. Okay, now let's say 30 wins the next point. So then we'll write a two for this. And let's say she's on a roll. She wins the third point. Okay, and then say she wins the fourth point. So now the score is four to two. And then she does not win the next point. So then number 31 is going to get the next point, and we're going to write a three for her, meaning that's the third point for the team. Now let's say she wins the next point, so we'll put a four there. And then she wins the next point after that, and then all the way to point six. Now finally, 41 here gets to serve because she has lost the next point here. So then that's going to be the fifth point awarded to this team. And that's how we keep our running score constantly going. So let's say she wins the next point. We'll give a six here. And let's say she does not win that next point. Then it goes to the next person over here. Okay. And let's say she does not win that point. Then we award that point to the next person that's going to serve here. And notice how we don't just put ones here. We just keep totaling the points. So this seventh point is awarded to the server that's going to start on this side here. And we just keep going back and forth like that. So let's say she wins the eighth point. So I write an eight there. And then she loses that point. And then we're going to award the eighth point for this team here. So eight. Let's say she's on a roll. She wins the ninth and she wins the tenth and the eleventh. And then finally loses the ball. Okay. That's going to be now the ninth point Okay, for this team over here. Now let's say they now win point 10, 11, and 12. And then they now finally lose the, the point. Well, then the 12th point of this team gets awarded to the next server there. So it's going to be 12 awarded to her. And let's say she does not win that po next point. So then the 13th point gets awarded here. And let's say she doesn't win. The next point, then the 13th point of this team is awarded to the next server, number 30. Now let's say she wins the, the next point, and the next point after that, and then loses the point. Well, then we award point number 14 to the next server that's about to serve for our team. Okay, And let's say she wins uh, or does not win that point. Then we'll go over here. Let's see, this is going to be the 16th point. Awarded, but wait, they want to substitute number 41 in first. Okay, then what I like to do as a scorer is then just kind of like draw a big line here indicating the next server is coming in. This person's now 41. So point one and two was actually given to, to player number 26, but I now draw lines showing that 41 has now come in. Okay, now that would be uh, the 16 point. Okay, and then you keep going you know, from side to side, awarding a running total score uh, to each of the server and draw lines anytime a substitution happens. 
So let's say they don't win the next point. Then I look here, okay, 14th. That means number 30 should get the 15th point here. Okay, so keep going back and forth. And any time a substitution happens, just draw a line. So let's say 26 comes back in for 41, then I will draw another line there to indicate now 26 is back in. So every time a line happens, we assume that these two players have switched each other. Okay, and that's all you do. And when you get the uh, final score, let's say this team won by a score of 25 to 23. Just write it in there. And, of course, if anyone takes a timeout, what I like to do, let's say the home team takes a timeout, I just like to circle the one. They only get one timeout per game. So anytime the team takes it, I just circle it, indicating that that timeout has been uh, taken. Okay, so that's it. Very simple to do. And uh, hopefully uh, this helps clarify so you're able to do scoring for our team.